Hey guys, welcome back to The Horror the Horror with your hostess with the mostess, Jennabelle, as always. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, so I had a special request uh, from one of you guys, Karen Burrows, to do a review on the first Phantasm movie. Now, I'll be honest, this is going to be a very uh, rough review, um, but I will eventually return to this movie and give it a proper, um, a proper review. It just, I'm not sure if I'm going to get to it as soon as I'm planning on it, because you guys know I have quite a few movies to get through, so I wanted to at least give a little bit of a, a rough review, um, just to let you guys know that I, you know, don't necessarily give out, like, empty promises, or, you know, I don't give out empty promises about reviewing movie, but you know what, um... Like I said, I'll do a little quick uh, rough review, and eventually, like I said, I will give this a proper review that it deserves. So this, um, I remember um, first really actually hearing about this, like, 10 or 12 years ago when uh, Bravo did their 100 scariest movie moments, um of all time, and, uh, I would, that's, if you guys can, like, you know, watch that, I know it's, like, here on YouTube and stuff, that's actually pretty good, uh, some good recommendations to, like, view and stuff, but that's when I first really kind of heard about this movie, and I was like, I gotta see this movie, and I have to say, it's really well done, um, this is definitely more on, like, the sci-fi horror, I feel, uh, but very, very well done, and it's creepy, like, the images in this are just so creepy and gives you a little bit of like goosebumps like the uh the tall man here my god like the actor in here I always forget his name he's been in like all of them um Agnes Scrim okay that's it okay I always know like his first name's always like the one of those like offbeat names I was gonna say hillbilly names but I feel like it's not really a hillbilly name so I didn't want to like do any disrespect um, you know, just so iconic in this role. Like, you know, he's, I would definitely say he's, this character is definitely up there with, like, uh, Candyman, uh, Freddy, Michael Myers, uh, just very creepy. And it just, you know, especially in that scene where, you know, the kid is, like, laying in his bed and stuff, and he's, he's in his room, uh, and then it turns uh, to, like, him being in the graveyard, and he looks up, and there's the tall man, and then you know, the arms come out and everything, just, oh, every time I watch that scene, it just, and I know it's coming, I'm still a little, you know, I, I jump just slightly, because it's like, oh, and the music, the music in this, the score is, oh, man, it's crazy, fits with the movie, um, but yeah, it's, uh, I, I definitely like this movie a lot, because it is definitely much different than, uh, what we were getting at the time. Like, this came out the same year as Halloween, kickstarting the whole, um, I shouldn't say kickstarting, but definitely, uh, you know, plunging us into, like, the slasher movement and everything. And this one definitely stands out because it is pretty much everything but a slasher movie. Uh, like I said, it's definitely much more of a, like, sci-fi type of movie. Uh, very creepy. Um, and actually, I have to say... That, like, um, we may see this again when I do another, like, uh, non-horror fan recommendation. Uh, this is definitely a good one for uh, people to check out if you're not a horror fan. Because, like I said, it's not a typical uh, horror movie. It's not a slash or anything. But, yeah. And it's like, when you're watching this movie, um, especially if you're watching it for the first time, you're kind of like, what the fuck is he doing? What is he doing taking that, you know, that coffin and stuff and just you know, tall man just picking up that coffin with, like, one arm by himself, and the kid's watching, you're like, what? 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 Is there a body in there? Is he just got superhuman strength? It just all around, it just, oh, it's a good movie. It, it's definitely one of those movies where, like, even now, sometimes when I watch it, it's like, even though I've seen it a few times, I'm still like, what the fuck is he doing? What the, what the hell's going on? What? What? You know, it's very, um, you know, kind of supernatural, too. It's, a, it's definitely supernatural. Sci-fi supernatural horror movie. That's what this is. But, yeah, it's just, it's a, it's, I feel like it's a brilliantly done. 
Um, and it just, oh, kickstarting a great franchise. Uh, I haven't seen Raventure yet, and I don't think I've ever seen part four. Maybe p- bits and pieces, but I definitely have seen, like, the first three. I know Ravenger, uh is not getting really good reviews. A lot of people are really disappointed in it. But I still want to at least check it out and, uh, you know, hopefully one day give the entire series a proper um, review. But, yeah, so, you know, those are kind of, like, my rough thoughts on this movie. Like I said, I will definitely... Um, at some point, hopefully sooner rather than later, give this movie a very proper uh, review. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of, you know, I had a recommendation from Karen and I did not want to kind of keep putting this off and forgetting or getting sidetracked with other videos. So, but you know what, Karen, this is my kind of like rough cut, my rough ideas of this movie, my rough thoughts. Um, and I do promise I will give this one a proper review soon. I just wanted to, you know, at least give you a little bit of my thoughts on this. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, plus, two, I need to rewatch this. I just watched this, rewatched this within the last couple of months. Um, but I need to rewatch it again because it is truly a, a phenomenal movie. It is. It's phenomenal. You guys, you need to go watch this, at least the first one. If you guys don't watch the sequels, that's fine. Watch the first one at least. It is well worth it. Well worth it. But anyway, guys, uh, that is it for today. Uh, Till next time, guys, stay creepy, classy, and a little bit sassy.